Hi Roy, welcome to the IPMS show in Telford. How have you been finding the show today? It's been a lot of fun. Um, I enjoy coming to the show every year and uh, this one's no different. I'm just a little bit more well rested this time. And uh, what's new for you uh, for this, well, for the end of this year and beginning of next year? Well, um, one of the uh, one of the disappointments for me for this show was that uh, I've been working on uh, five new sets for the uh, the Tamiya Mustang in 32nd scale, but uh, due to pressures from some other projects, um, they were not finished in time. The photo etch is a little delayed, and I was a little behind on the pattern making. But the reason is because uh, the new book, uh, Thunderbolts of the Hellhawks, is, uh, I think it went to print on Friday, or either that or it'll go on Monday. It's been uh, two years in the makings. It's a uh, book on the history of the 365th Fighter Group in World War II. It's a 9th Air Force P-47 unit uh, that was uh, first brought to uh, general public's uh, Consciousness by the uh, which was kind of a, a, a history by a, a personal stories with a, a number of photographs. A very, very nice book, very um, well written, but uh, it didn't really document the unit uh, as far as uh, a timeline of history, and uh, there was very few photographs. Uh, my friend Don Barnes uh, read the book became very interested in the unit and uh, started looking around because he wanted to build a P-47 with the markings from uh, one of the airplanes in the unit. Couldn't find anything and uh, in his research he found one of the pilots, uh, Archie Maltby, who was living uh, quite close by. Uh, he contacted him and became friends with him and it was the genesis of this project which has uh, resulted in this in this new book that will be coming out. It's, uh, 320 pages, um, uh, over 500 uh, unpublished photographs, uh, 92 color profiles of aircraft that uh, only uh, only three of them have ever been seen before. Um, the great thing about the book is uh, is that uh, the photographs are, you know, it, it's a great selection of photographs. It, it ranges widely. Um, from many, many photographs of the aircraft, but it also encompasses many other aspects of life in the um, Ninth Air Force in uh, the last part of World War II. Um, the 365th did an enormous amount of work from the invasion of Normandy to the end of the uh, war, um, supporting the, the Allied Armed Forces, um, driving the Germans back into Germany, and um, We've interviewed over 20 of the surviving pilots um, and befriended all of them. Um, they've been incredibly helpful in the production of this book. Uh, there's over 100 sidebars in the book. There were many were written by the pilots themselves. All sorts of fascinating stories. Um, once again, covering many aspects of, of uh, life in the, uh, in the unit, um, starting in England. And they were the first unit to... Uh, to go into France after the Normandy invasions. They were the first unit into Germany. Um, it's, it, I'm uh, really proud to be a part of uh, this project, um, and it should be hopefully out before the end of the year, uh, depending on how quickly it's printed and how quickly we can get it back from, uh, from China. But uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's the, the big uh, push for now. So it's perfect for any aircraft modeler that's looking for something on his Christmas wish list. Yes, uh, it'll also be supported by uh, specialty, uh, special decal release or decal release, depending on uh, your proclivities. Um, but uh, there'll be 16 to 20 airplanes on uh, one sheet uh, covering the entire spectrum of the 365th. In their short period of time, they went through a number of changes in uh, marking styles. Many, many uh, colorful aircraft with very interesting nose art. Um, full invasion stripes, uh, natural metal airplanes, uh, olive drab, natural neutral gray airplanes. It's a, a nice mix of, of stuff. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time, Roy, and uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of your show. Thanks. Take care.